Hello, Internetians. My name is Josh A.K. Over Player, your coach of the New York Metagross. Welcome back to IBL. Once again, I am late on this video due to computer issues. Reason why P4G was late yesterday. Reason why P4G is going to be late. I think I'm putting that up tomorrow. However, I think after that I'm caught up. Uh, I also don't have a lot of time, so I'm pressed to get everything out, so I'm not having the little team builder portion. But we are facing off against Kurt. And his portrait hurtiers. He has a very scary team, uh, and it consists of. Uh, I don't believe I have that pulled up. Nope. Uh, he has a Mega King Scon, Z Scolopede, Z Ladios, Blastoise, Rotom Heat, Rabombi, Meganium, Trash, Steelix, Honchkrow, Togedemaru, and Dusclops. I have a shell gun on my team, and I just called someone else's Mon Trash. Anyway, as you can see, he brought uh, basically all the mons that I really expected him to bring. Uh, his offense mons were Honchkrow, Scolopede, Mega King, all destroy me. Uh, his defensive mons were kind of a lot of yes, uh, definitely Steelix, and then he has Rabombi, uh, which isn't defensive, but it's Sticky Web. Yeah, so I'm not really surprised, but real quick, as uh, to break down what we're bringing, I have a double uh, hazard Focus Sash, Max Max offensive Nihilego. I have a Super offensively invested, a little bit of speed, some weird kind of bulk spread, sub Araquanid with sticky webs of my own, and two attacks. I have a physically defensive Charty Perry uh, Charizard, because Skull will the threat. I have a Z Snatch Hoopa with Protect. I have a Cursed Venusaur with no stab. And then I have a physically defensive Spikes Reflect Clefki. So let's jump into this battle, shall we? I believe I lead off with my Nihilego, which is um, the reason why I brought it. It was going to be a lead. I need to get a Hazards. So I'm going to lead off with Shebe, and I believe he's just going to lead off with his Mega Kangaskhan. Uh, so the miss, this Mega Kangaskhan is just going to be a threat if you've already watched um, his side. You know, it's a bit annoying for me to deal with. However, he's going to Mega Evolve. I'm afraid of Earthquake. Just straight up destroying me. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to go for my Stealth Rocks. Uh, I think Stealth Rocks are really important in this match. It's going to help chip down some of his Mons and put them in range of certain attacks. And you'll see that those Stealth Rocks end up becoming really, really uh, important. And he goes for Power Punch turn 1, which is really bad. Like, really bad for me. Uh, you're going to see why I did not like this Mega Minasaur set here soon. But I'm going to go for Power Gem. It's my best play. If he Sucker Punches go on him, but he doesn't, which leads me to believe he doesn't have it. Which is really good for stuff like my Hoopa. But he's going to go for Frustration, and I believe that's going to knock me out. Yep, without even uh, the second hit. So, uh, unfortunately, my Nihilago goes down, but it's meant to do that. I'm going to go to Jumanji. Uh, I want to get damage off on this thing and weaken it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Mega Evolve. I know this wasn't going to sweep, just because I saw Honchkrow and Latios. So I knew it was mainly just going to be here to... Uh, get off damage and stuff. So, I'm going to go, I believe, here for the Earthquake. If I had Power Whip, I might be able to just straight up kill this thing from where it was, or if I had Slug Bomb or something. I'm going to go for Earthquake, and you're going to see it's going to do mm, that much damage. Uh, Power Whip might have killed it from that range. Uh, actually, crit, so it wouldn't have killed from that range. But he didn't get for Frustration. And uh, I'm going to leave my Blue Sword. So this two mods already dead to make a game scone. I told you that this thing was going to be very annoying. However, I can now go out into my Clefki. Uh, which I should have gone into the first place, gone into in the first place. However, I'm going to click Reflect, I believe, as he's going to switch out and I'm going to stay in and potentially lose and make a King is gone. And he's going to go into the Steel and I'm like, all right, all right. I got put on the back pedal. However, I can come back from this. I just got to start playing a little bit smarter. Uh, I could go for Spikes here, but I don't want to take an Earthquake. And also, I have a direct counter to this in my bubble, unless he has a Rock type move. And also, this Bubbles is meant to put up a sub on this. This thing cannot break my sub unless it has a rock type move. Uh, a couple other mods couldn't break my sub either. But anyway, I am going to go for that substitute. Put up that little uh, little thing. I think it's toxic, which reveals to me he's probably not going to have a rock type move. He's probably going to be earthquake and durable. Which is beautiful to me. Because now I can just start doing, start doing things. I'm going to hit him with that liquidation. And you're going to see this is going to do a tremendous amount to the Steelix. And he is going to go, I believe... For the gyro ball. Yes, he's gonna go for the gyro ball and he is going to break my sub. Oh, he's not gonna break my sub, that's right, because I'm made to not have my sub broken. Whoopsie! Anyway, now that's done. Uh, I'm gonna go for liquidation again. I have to him last turn, I'm gonna have to him this turn. 
and I'm going to knock out this Steelix, which is really good. Steelix is kind of annoying for my hoop, especially since I'm a physical set, as well as stuff like my, um... What was I saying? I don't remember. Whatever. Anyway, he goes down to Honchko, which is really good. Uh, he's going to go for the Brave Bird, I already know, to break my sub. However, this thing is not very strong, uh, not very bulky, and the Liquidation is ridiculously powerful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Liquidation, and after that Brave Bird, a little bit of Brave Bird recoil, Liquidation is going to be a guaranteed kill onto this Honchko, so goodbye to that. That's a second kill for my Araquanin. And he, I believe, is going to go into the Scolipede in an attempt to knock me out. Which, you know, it happens. So, I, I'm actually going to stay in here. I calc some things, and one, I kill him with Liquidation, and two, no Life Orb hit it kills me, and Savage Spin Out from a Adamant, from a uh, Jolly Scolipede, which he has to be, in my opinion. Savage Spin Out does not kill. Spoiler alert. This Savage Spin Out does not kill my Araquanid, especially with the set I have. I believe I was actually EV to also live this hit. So, you're going to see him go for this Savage Spin Out, and he is going to do that much damage to me. I'm going to fire off this Liquidation, and this Scolopy is going to hit the dirt. Araquanid, sub Araquanid getting three kills in a row. He has his Latias, he has Rabombi, and he has his weakened Mega Kangaskhan left. I'm actually feeling really good, especially with Z-Snatch. So he's going to go out to this. And uh, should I put up a spike with my uh, Klefki like I wanted to, this would not be a problem. That would be dead. However, he's going to go for Fake Out and I'm going to live. Uh, which sucks because he can get a Power Punch, power up punch off. Which really, really blows like a lot of dicks. However, he's going to go for Frustration. Instead, which is great. Uh, and he can kill my Rock which is fine. Uh, I now have three months left. One is my Charizard. One is my uh, Clucky. And the last one is my Hoopa. So, funny thing is, if I was Scarf Hoopa, he'd like get hit, he'd get hit hard right now. But I'm going to go into my Clucky. And I am going to... Oh, by the way, that thing also has three kills. So, only two months have kills in the 3-3 match. Three Araquanid and three Kangaskhan, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to go to Klefki, and I'm going to click the Reflect. Uh, I'm actually going to click Foul Play. Just kidding. Uh, so I'm going to click Foul Play, and I believe I have Play Rough on this thing. Ugh. Sorry about that. Uh, but I believe I have Play Rough on this thing. He's going to go for the Quiver Dance, which is spooky scary for me. Uh, so I'm going to click Play Rough. And I'm going to do a lot of damage to this. I know an HP ground can potentially come out here. But I don't really have any other counterplay. He's going to go for Roost. Which I thought was really interesting. However, I know that he's HP Fire or HP Ground to hit this specific Mon. I'm going to go for Play Rough. And I believe... No, I stay in. Okay. Uh, he goes for HP, whatever. Ground Fire. And I go for Play Rough and I'm going to knock out this Rabombi. Which is really nice. All he has left is Latias. Kangaskhan dies to hazards. So all he has left is this Latias. All I have to do is stay in and click uh, play rough over and over. And he does not have any move on his Ross, uh, on his uh, Latias that can kill my Hoopa from full. So he's going to take rock and I'm going to click play rough. Uh, I'm actually going to switch sacking uh, DK. I'm going to sack off my uh, Charizard. Because if he goes to Draco or something or Calm Mind, uh, that's kind of scary. So I want to Toxic it. Uh, however, uh, he goes for Human Wish. Which, uh, no bueno, I might add. Because that means that Kangaskhan is now back at the full. And that's a huge problem for me. Very big problem for me. So he's going to get back out into Mama. And uh, I debated a lot of Hoopa sets. And the Hoopa set that I ended up bringing is going to end up being my downfall. Spoiler alert. Uh, this Kangaskhan is going to come in. And he's actually going to just clean up everything. He can fake out. Uh, I believe I took Defog on the off chance that he doesn't do anything. But if I was like, um... Some kind of other type of set, I might be able to like beat the thing, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um, he's gonna knock me out, and from full, I can't really do anything to this. I believe foul play is a two KO, which really sucks. Uh, if I had toxic, if I had like anything else, 
I might have um, been able to do something. I'm going to go for Reflect on the off chance that I'm able to accept that. I don't think he'd go for Power Up Punch and make Foul Play stronger, but he's going to because Foul Play isn't going to be doing a lot anyway because Kangaskhan is just so naturally bulky. And this is where I should have definitely brought a Rocky Helmet on this thing. I knew that Mickey Kangaskhan was a huge threat, and yet I still did not go with a Rocky Helmet. So that's poor play on my part, poor prep on my part. But he's going to go for Frustration. And he's going to do just a little bit of damage, and that reveals to me he also doesn't have Earthquake, which was really surprising to me. And he ended up having a Fake Out, Ice Beam, Frustration, and uh, Power Punch. So if Foul Play can come off, it's going to do like 50. Uh, if I had an Aya Papa Berry or something, I might be able to win. However, this thing is going to kill my chains. And, uh, yeah. So I didn't know what his last move was at this point. Uh, like, maybe it's some weird Ratchet stuff, and I can get something off his E-Snatch. For any reason, he clicks anything. That doesn't, that doesn't kill Hoopa. It's lit. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go for Z-Snatch because that's my literally only play. Uh, he goes for Frustration. Uh, but yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> so, actually I think I clicked Hyperspace Fury because there was no point. So yeah, uh, we're going to lose 1-0 to Kurt and his Kangaskhan, which is unfortunate. But uh, yeah, I forgot to mention the common question of the day. What controversial mon do you want to use in the Jeff League format? I have Hoopa and he has Mega Kangaskhan. But hey, it doesn't matter. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this beatdown by Mega Kangaskhan. Mega Kangaskhan got six kills. So whoopsie. But next week we are going against... Uh, who are we fighting? Hmm. We're 3-3 uh, three and three now, I believe, by the way. But next week we're going against uh, Brendan. And the Marvel Mudsdales. So that's cool. Uh, but anyway, I will see you guys then. And peace out.